with this shit is that once the story gets out, it's going to run like wildfire. And it is what it is. I don't do nothing but speak the truth. So if anybody knows me, you know my word is valid. I don't lie. I don't know who's a We dad ass pull up. I see rock in the garage. I'm like, you already know what it is. You're going to get your ass beat. She hops up, jumps over a couch, runs around the corner. Next thing you know, seven gang members come from the top of the stage of house or whatever, comes down, and they surround the Blue comes out, and he's like, what the fuck, what are you doing here? Blue, 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 blue. Like, nigga, no, you let this beat up my mom, so you already know why I'm here. So you can tell the bitch put on some gloves, or she can catch these raw knuckles. Nah, nigga, she ain't fighting nobody, she ain't fighting nobody, nigga, blue, blue, blue. I kid you not, when this nigga said, these niggas gonna stomp you out, these niggas didn't wait for the goal or nothing. Like, dead ass, me and my husband was like, back to back, six niggas around, seven niggas around us, and they just started throwing shit. Like, when I tell y'all, I ain't, like, bruh, when you be in that situation, like, all you be trying to do is, like, protect yourself. You know what I mean? And dead ass, I could not protect myself. I could not protect my husband. You know what I mean? Like literally all I could do is piss on myself and it's so embarrassing to get knocked out by seven niggas and get pissed on, you know what I mean? After the seven niggas jumped us up, I look at my husband, he on the floor, so I'm cussing my brother out like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga, you're dumb as fuck. Then you know, he starts slap boxing me, just slapping me with his hands. Then I fall to the ground, he starts stomping me out with his feet, bro, this is my blood brother, he starts stomping me out with his feet. But now, I'm like just hanging on, pissed. Next thing you know, these niggas is running through my husband's pocket. I'm getting dragged. So, cause now Rock ran up after her. I'm getting stomped out by Blue. She comes and snatches my hair. So that's the video y'all seeing her pulling my hair. Cause you can see my hair is already snapped from these niggas knocking my shit off. So I'm fucking getting dragged out by her. And um, next thing you know, these niggas is running through my niggas' pockets. They snatched his phone, they snatched whatever the fuck is in his pockets, opened up his car. Five niggas running through my nigga car, um, stole his gun out of his car. So now whack over here talking about some weak to a gunfight. Let's be honest. I want everybody to use motherfucking common sense right now. I want y'all to use motherfucking common sense. If we pulled up with guns to a gang member's house, don't y'all think it would have been a shot out, shoot out? Don't y'all think we would have been out there shooting? My nigga is smarter enough to not bring no fucking guns to no fucking girl fight. It was supposed to be a girl fight. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't supposed to be, like, fighting niggas and shit. Otherwise, we would have came with more backup. Like, what are you saying? Like, this is weird.